World Series. He is the first National League manager to win two just like that since the mid-70s. Ladies and gentlemen, the manager of the World Champion Giants, Bruce Pochi. Emergency, but he scored the winning run in game four. Give it up for Ryan Terrio. He saved a perfect game with the greatest catch of the season, and then he kept doing it all through the postseason. Left fielder, number seven, Gregor. He did it with his bat, and he did it with his words. The guy who sort of got the Giants going before game three against Cincinnati. Giants right fielder, Hunter Pence. <laughs> in game four in Detroit, he knocked in the first run with a triple off the right field wall. First baseman number nine. Brandon Belt. A Northern California native, he joined the Giants late in the year, was a huge part of the Giants' home stretch. Xavier Nady. This guy was a key acquisition. He played a lot more, I think, than anybody thought that he would. And the more he played, the better he got. He could play almost anywhere, and he murdered left-handed pitching. Hit 375 in the postseason. Number 13, Joaquin Arias. A young outfielder who made his big league debut this year and really helped the Giants with his arm, with his speed, Francisco Figuero. Fast runner, slow walker. Center fielder, two postseason leadoff homers, number 16, Angel. forget him on this stage from two years ago, a part of two Giants World Series championship teams, Aubrey Huff. He was the winning pitcher in the clinching game in the division series, the clinching game for the National League pennant, game seven against the Cardinals. Ladies and gentlemen, a perfect game. This guy, Marco Scudero, in the postseason, the MVP of the championship series, the winning hit in the World Series, Marco Scudero.
pick up for the next couple of weeks. Buster! He's already won several Giants postseason a year on their catcher all-star, Buster Posey. Woo! Number 29, Hector Sanchez. Well, there have only been a couple of pitchers in the history of the game. One of them was Christy Mathewson. Started their careers with four straight postseason starts of five or more innings, one run or fewer. He pitched so well all the way down the stretch for the Giants. Ryan Vogelsaw. This guy was an important man, adding depth to the bullpen during the long season. Please welcome number 34, right-hander Clay Hensley. Next guy grew up a Giants fan. Hopper. I think he probably dreamed to be a How many great plays did he make for the Giants in the playoffs? Shortstop Brandon Crawford. We missed him this year, but in the stretch run, he was there. Hard to miss him. Number 38. The beard, Brian Wilson. What a performance here in San Francisco in Game Two of the World Series. He's still only 23 years old. Giant starting pitcher, Madison. I don't think we'll ever forget the eighth inning of game four in Detroit. He struck out the side and he struck out the three best hitters the Tigers had to offer. Giants reliever number 41, Jeremy Affel. Another great game for performance. He was the winning pitcher in the clincher for the Giants right-hander Santiago Casilla. Wherever this guy goes, championships seem to follow. A key man in that bullpen again this year. The night train, the number 49, Javier Lopez. Another one of Brian Sabian's great midseason moves, picking up this left-handed reliever, Jose Mijares. Literally, he was unhittable in the World Series and the postseason.
pitcher who made his major league debut with the Giants this year, appeared in eight games down the stretch, Gene Machi. This guy was acquired from the New York Yankees at the end of spring training. One of the great sliders you'll see, and he was so good he forced his way onto the postseason roster. Right-hander, number 70, George Canto. Woo! Okay, this guy needs a big, big applause Zito! for what he did against the Cardinals to save the season. Zito! Champion 2012, San Francisco Giants. <laughs>